One issue I wanted to discuss with you, uh, we're going to tackle now, uh, but we're going to do it, uh, you know, in classic Love or Leave It style. So now it's time for OK Stop. But this isn't any old OK Stop. This is a gentle uh, critique of some slight missteps I may or may not have had with your old boss, uh, Secretary Mayor Buttigieg. <laughs> Secretary Mayor Pete. Let's I should call Mayor Pete. Secretary Mayor Pete. Secretary Mayor Pete works, yeah. Now, uh, before we roll this clip, uh, you mentioned as you were arriving today that you happened to have seen uh, Secretary Pete, and the fact that you were going to appear on this show came up, and you started to tell me, and I did stop you so that my reactions could be real and sincere. <laughs> Walk us through what happened. Okay. <laughs> so... um Okay, so Secretary Mayor Pete was in LA yesterday, like announcing um, amazing infrastructure projects uh, with the mayor of LA, local officials, all that stuff. And I had the chance to see him briefly last night. And the first thing I said to him was, hey, by the way, you know, I'm doing John Lovett's live show tomorrow night. Um, and he just looked at me and went, oh, God. <laughs> that guy <laughs> but then I tell him I, I I tell him like sort of what the interview is gonna be like um, and that one of the things is we're gonna do okay stop but instead of like analyzing a politician's media appearance I'm gonna be analyzing John Lovett interviewing Pete uh, I had t another uh, a, a John Lovett Stan, another elected official who I've uh, consulted with, I'm not going to mention his name, is a massive fan. Listen to all this. Politicians, listen. It's important. It's an important, um, it's an important show to politics. And he called me out of the blue today, and I was like, oh, shit, is there something wrong? Whatever. And he was like, okay, we need to talk about your love it or leave it appearance tonight. And he was like, so if you ever get in a pinch, if you're ever in a tough spot, just relentlessly fucking mock him. Be <laughs> because, you know what? Because the crowd will love it. They'll eat it up. And sickly, he will too. Um, okay, but okay. What, I, I, got yeah. a, I, got, I got a little more. I got more. You know what? Again, I, I was told, I was told that, that this is sort of your kink, okay? Yeah. What else did you and, learn through your research? And, and so I um and so I said to Pete, I was like, well, this is the deal. So I am doing a segment with him called OK Stop, where we are gonna analyze his interviews with you. And I stop and get to tell him when he really fucked up, you know? And and Pete's like, Wow, well. You know, that's good. I didn't know John had that sort of level of self-awareness to know. <laughs> to, to, to know how those interviews went. And, and you know, that, that, that gives me a, a new level of respect for him. And, and so um, I, I, I don't know how many of you know Mayor Pete. I don't know how many of you no, are from None the, of them know him. Are, how many of you, oh, you do, you sure do. Um, <laughs> how, how many of you are from the Midwest? But that's like Pete's, woo, yeah, let's hear it, yeah. Um, but that's like Pete's Midwestern way and like the Mayor Pete way of saying, bless his heart, <laughs> and I hope he chokes to death in his sleep tonight. Let's roll the clip. <laughs> We have such great visibility on that as a department, right? Funding things in all of the states and, and for that matter, tribes and territories uh, around this country that, that I think we can kind of cross-pollinate the best from one place into another. So you are saying it's not the size of the, of the infrastructure package, it's how you use it. That's sort of what I'm... Both. It's yeah. both. I mean, look, uh, part, part of why... The, 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 this is really this is really important because part of why the, the uh, last round of negotiations didn't make it uh, was because our negotiating partners just wouldn't get there uh, on, uh, uh, you know, the level of dollar amount okay, that it stop. is going. Okay, stop. Okay, stop. So uh, I, 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 I'm, I, I feel so much secondhand embarrassment for you right now. <laughs> okay, that's fine. And. I, I just want to know, like, did you ask, like, Favs or Vita or, like, Pfeiffer, like, hey, should 
when I have an interview with a cabinet secretary, should I <laughs> should I lead with a fucking dick size joke? <laughs> because you're not like, putting it in a very kind way. <laughs> It was, I want, look, can we just hear the next sentence I said? Because I think I defend myself. Can we just hear the next sentence, please? I'm sorry, I am offended. I made a, a reference to a package. It is pride. There was an innuendo there, and you ignored it. I'm and going this to is be pride. specifically oblivious uh, I see that. <laughs> from now on. It's Frank Kameny did not protest in front of the White House so that you could ignore my jokes during pride, Pete. May Secretary Pete. I'm sorry to disappoint. <laughs> so okay, so, so stop. Just, I just I give you important context. Oh, okay, stop. Uh, and I'll give it's you some. I'll give you some. That it was June. Yeah. That's it. It was June, and he's 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 the first gay cabinet secretary. I'm the first gay host of Love It or Leave It, <laughs> and that's two people who broke barriers in Pride. And I thought there was sort of a, a gay to gay kind of wavelength with which we could communicate. Did, did you think you guys I, met on that wavelength? It there? turns out we did not. Uh, <laughs> one of our radios was not working. Um, because th this is the thing I love about Pete is, um, you know, one of the things that vaulted him from being like sort of an unknown mayor, top of the presidential field, one Iowa, was um, the fact that he never said no to an interview. He would do any interview. <laughs> um, but like... But, like, I think after doing that interview, he was just like, you know what, I don't, I don't want to do an interview, not only with John Lovett ever again, but, but with anyone ever again. Really? It was that bad? Well, no, I mean, that's how, that's just, like, me translating his, his face. His, yeah, his face, yeah. Well, let's, you know what, maybe, maybe this is a bad example. We have another example. Let's roll the clip. Is Adam Driver hot? Okay, stop. Just stop it for one second. <laughs> when you look at his face, you just see the disappointment. He's like, God fucking damn it. I thought I was sitting down with John Favreau. Yep. It's always, here's the thing. We have gotten, we have gotten reports that, that it's a little bit of a crapshoot doing a uh, Pod Save America interview. You don't know which one of us you're going to get. Because it's just And they're not talking about yeah. Favreau. <laughs> but, however, one thing I will say is I can see a smile on his face because he realizes, oh my God, finally an interviewer who makes me look tall. You, you fucking bitch. Let's roll it. Some mysteries are just beyond what an we can okay. really speak to with yes or no. Okay. But, I will, but you that know about Adam Driver. He's from Mishawaka, which is basically, it's like fused. They're, they're basically Look the at Eagleton my to our Pawnee. So frustrated. Okay. Like right next. Okay. So he's basically from South Bend. So we're going to claim him. All right. The answer is. But I guess it means he must be hot. Okay. <laughs> we got there. We got there. That was good. Follow yeah. up. Yeah. Chris Evans, Chris Pratt, Chris Pine, or Chris Hemsworth. Chris Pine was in the Star Trek one, right? Correct. Oh, wait, but Chris Pratt was in Parks and Recreation. Correct. Indiana Connection, got to go with him. <laughs> All right. Uh, for the record, he said he would fuck Chris Pratt. All right. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, stop. Okay, stop. <laughs> People are clutching their faces in embarrassment. They're freaking out. It feels so bad to watch this. I mean... Look, I'm not going to speak for Mayor Pete here, but like, okay, stop, because we all know the only answer there is that Chris Evans is the only fuckable Chris. Is oh, the most please. fuckable Chris. Well, Wait, first of all, they're all fuckable. Yeah, but the thank you. Okay. But let's, let's be the, honest. Okay, but I We're all know. adults here. But that was offensive. That was offensive to, to suggest that Chris Pratt would be the most fuckable one there. And also, like, and also, like, you know what I love about this, too, is, and we have to put aside the fact that Pete Buttigieg is, I, right there, a presidential candidate. And that's a pretty big thing to put aside. It's like, you know, it's like, um, other than that, you know, Mrs. Lincoln, how is the play? But, um... I don't think this was as bad as that. But, <laughs> you know... I don't even think it's in the conversation. I, I think in terms of interviews that were done with Pete over time, it, it was up there. It was in, like, yeah, in, like Ford worse. Theater. Yeah, like Ford Theater sort of stuff. Well, he was a, Lincoln wasn't interviewed at Ford Theater. He was actually kind of, that was his time off. Yeah. <laughs> that was his off time. Um, uh, so, okay. Well, question. <laughs> when I get to interview Secretary Pete again, which I will, <laughs> which I do differently. Keep in mind, I, I must, 
I must do it the same way. You must, you must. And and this is the good news is, um, you know, for all, uh, right. And like people like to think that Pete is just like, you know, sort of so straight laced, this, that. He sort of likes it. I mean, he came back a second time. That's true. He did. He did. He did. Um, he did. Is I would maybe like, look, I would. So my issue with your second interview, the one that you played first, was that you like led with like these like super wonky policy questions about like trans. I'm interested in that. Yeah. He, I contain multitudes. Well, I know. I know, I know, but I think you just got to ease into the questions a little more and maybe be like a little cliche, less cliched, like about dick size and which Chris he wants to fuck. Those like, are cliches when okay. you're interviewing a secretary of transportation? <laughs> or, or. <laughs> I don't but, think Norman Mineta got a lot of these questions. Right. Okay. But, the, but then, but like, so for me, if I were asking questions of a cabinet secretary and it's like, who would you rather? I would ask about the other members of the cabinet. <laughs> I'm not saying you should ask. What if I Peter start answering just like Havland? And it's like, that's weird. I didn't even say that name. That's a real feeling he has. Um, but, but, but who would you in the cabinet? Thank you so much, Liz. <laughs> Buy her book any given Tuesday at brick and mortar bookstores near you. It's true. 